Sicario was just a joy to edit that kind. It's the kind of film I, you know, sometimes I'm late at night, I'm always looking for those kind of things. At the weekends, I'm often trying to find a tough thriller, you know, maybe a little political edge, something a bit hard, hardcore, you know, real. And there it is, we just made one, you know, which is, I'm really proud of that. And uh, obviously, you know, working with somebody a second time, you have a shorthand and it doesn't always work. You know, the chemistry with the director doesn't always work. When it does, you can see why people in the industry stay together. There's so many partnerships that are lifelong. You know, Thelma and uh, Marty Scorsese is a great example. You can totally understand it. There's a shorthand. You're thinking you can finish each other's sentences. You stand firm together. These are really good ways to make a film. Well, I just obviously really like him. I mean, that's the first and foremost the thing, and I've got a huge respect for what he does. I mean, I love the way his mind works, and we think alike a lot of the time about sound, about performance, about which is the best take, um, how long to hold a shot, um, little radical avant-garde touches that he brings that I think, uh, you know, I come from the same world in, in a way, a sort of slightly experimental way of thinking. Um, you know, just many, many things where we just think alike. Denny and uh, Roger, they're great planners and they'd already, you know, from the get-go, it was already very well thought out. And there was some very elaborate scenes that required that sort of, you know, high level of storyboarding and preparation and, you know, really thinking through. And they're also, I think both of them, they have a genius for sequence building. It was a complex job, but it was just, from my point of view, it felt like it was an opportunity to be very muscular and rhythmic and um, brutal and use sound very uh, interesting way.